Hey guys, welcome back to another episode Up and Running. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell right next to it for the notifications, and click the like button. All right, on today's episode, we're going to get to work on the 71 Chevy. Uh, we're going to start to work on the brakes and who knows what else. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, let's get to work on the brakes. We're gonna take these calipers off. This is where you start praying, because these are the old uh, hex style. You just pray that they come off without stripping them. Two for two on this side. Hopefully the other side turns out this well. feel real good. I'll still open them up and check them. There's grease in here.
how you get the seal out of the back real easy. Ooh, that's a lot of grease. All right, those are off. We can get those rotors turned now and get the new parts to put this back together. Look at this. Numb. Clean out all the bearings and everything in here and re grease them all. Yeah, these look in really good shape. I don't see any marks on them or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and take the calipers off right away. There we go, they're off. Now I'll do the other side. All right, so the old rotors didn't have quite enough meat on them to cut, uh, so we weren't able to do that. We had to get new rotors, so here we go. I'm just going to compare them and make sure they look the same. That looks the same. Yeah, they look, they look the same, so... We should be good. Yep. All right, so I'm going to get the, the big bearings, which are the, the rear part in there, along with the, uh, the seal. Let me make sure these seals are right. Okay, yeah, that seems right. And uh, we'll get that put back together. Um, I'll show you how I grease these. I'm just going to wipe off any crud on them, then we'll grease. Just going to flip this and double check the front right away. Yeah, that's correct too, so we're going to put there. Alright, let's grease. Alright, so all we do on here, we lift this off, we drop the bearing down on it, then I step on it. And it rams grease through the through the bearing. It's not quite enough. Let me hit it again. Alright, I'm just gonna touch up a little bit of this. You know, the old-fashioned way you get a bunch in your palm and you just push it in but this does a pretty good job it rams it through I don't see any spots in there where you know where there's no grease all right so the first thing we do drop a bearing in there and we're gonna put the seal in there
rolls in. So that's done, so now we go put it on the truck. Uh, I'm gonna do the other one right away as long as we're standing here. All right, I did hit these with some brake clean. The big thing, I gotta make sure that these are seated all the way. You know, the seals are seated all the way on the on the back side. This is kind of a just go by feel kind of thing. Alright. Alright, that one should be the right way. All right, so I'm working on laying all the components out so I know which ones go where. So that one's over there. And that one's a here. There must be a there. Oops, upside down. So that one must be a here. So that looks right. And then I mark this as P is passenger, D is driver, so I know which way to put them together. So, all right, let's put these. Uh... See you, take care. All right, so I'm making sure to compare to that the bleeders are on the same side, that they're opposite over here. So they look like they are. You always want to be sure the bleeders are up on the truck. So, all right, let's swap over uh, brake pads now. Ooh, they're not gonna wanna fit. Okay, that one's good. 
good. Do this one. on the truck. Do the passenger side one first. What the heck? Put a little anti-seize on these. I was talking to my fans. Now the next thing we got to do is right up in there. Let me see if I can get you guys in there to see it. Right up there, I got to attach the brake line now. It's probably going to be really dark, so I probably won't be able to film it. It's just screwing the brake line onto the the rubber line onto the steel line. All right, I think we got this all put together. Uh, we're out of parts now uh, for the top side of this, for the master and the booster area. Uh, the booster that we got wasn't right, uh, so we're in the process of getting another booster ordered. Uh, but anyway, so we got all the new stuff that uh, we need put on here, and uh, we're, we're good to go. Uh, I think I'll throw the tires on and uh, that way we can roll it around the shop or just drive it carefully because uh, there's really no brakes right now. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode Up and Running. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to come back next time and uh, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. Thanks for watching.